My name is Alfie Simmons and this is our Guildford Garden. It's just your typical small suburban garden, but we've put a few shrubs and trees in here to try and draw in some nature. When I bought the house a few years ago, it was a bit of a blank canvas in the garden. But with the help of some friends, we've turned it into a place that's nice for us and nice for nature. Having to spend all our time at home now, I feel lucky that we have this space. One of the ways that we're staying in contact with our friends through all this is through a sunflower growing competition. That's easy enough to set up. Some of our friends have kindly posted around some sunflower seeds and we've potted those up. You can plant sunflowers directly into the garden. You just plant them about half an inch deep in a sunny spot and they should grow happily there. Unfortunately, we have the national collection of slugs and snails in our garden, and that isn't an option. So we've planted them in pots, and just the other night we thought we'd try and leave them outside, and within an hour we found a snail munching away on one of the leaves. So if we want these to survive, I'm going to have to build some protection. Now I don't have access to a hardware store, so I'm using some scrap wood and an old pane of glass to build a cold frame. Now a cold frame is essentially just a box with a sloped lid that you put your plants inside and it protects them from the elements and from predators like slugs, snails and birds. And here we are, here is our basic hinged cold frame. Now you can put cold frames directly onto bare earth but because I want to keep the slugs and snails out I'm going to find a nice sunny warm corner of the garden. Now as long as I check this for slugs at least once a week, make this a slug free zone, hopefully we'll have some sunflowers to enter the competition and that'll be something to look forward to.